Hi everyone, welcome back to Tara's Take. Happy Monday. It's our Math Monday. And I have brought along some coffee dyed CD cases. Little, uh, what do you call these envelopes? Sli uh, slips, whatever. <laughs> anyway, I have brought along those. I've brought some digitals, um, music paper, some coffee dyed paper. And I brought along a few other digitals here and some stamps. And I thought we could have a play making us some pretty, some pretty, pretty pockets. So all you're going to need today is some glue, scissors, um, your choice of pages that you want to put as a backdrop into the CD slip cover. Is that what they're called? A little slip cover? And if you want to coffee dye them, they, they actually dry relatively quickly. Um, I did these eons ago, though. They've been sitting in my drawer waiting because I had done them in the thought of, uh, with the thought of doing a video with you guys, and then I didn't. So, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, these pages here I have, and the reason I brought them is because they're in portrait, and as you know, most of us do our journals in landscape, you know, um, and they're so beautiful. Some of them are, I used up some of them in different ways, but I had these three left, and I was just thinking that these would make really pretty backdrops, but they don't, um, they can't really be used in a journal as far as like a page. So what I was going to do for sure was I was going to take the main part of the, the portrait and I was going to put that into my, um, my envelope. Okay. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cut it to size, but I mean, I'm going to cut it down further, you know, so it fits in there better. But for right now, I just wanted to get the main focal point out of the picture and then I will bring it down to the right size okay and this one I want I want these folks here so again I'm just going to make sure and I'm thinking that yeah okay. so I'm going to cut like I said I'm not I'm not cutting these exact right now. I just want to get them small enough to where I can work with them. <laughs> okay. And even even the backdrop that's left of like the trees and stuff is just beautiful. So, and on this one, I've got the lady walking. Yeah, I got these within a fall kit, the autumn kit. But I don't really care. I, I love the pictures and I wanted to use them, so I'm not worried about, you know. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see how good I can do this. It doesn't have to fit exact. And you can put these in to your envelope kind of like a card. Uh, to where they could pull it out and use it to journal on. I personally am going to probably, you know, hit this with some glue and see how pretty that is. Isn't that just beautiful? And, and it's just that picture. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. And then I was going to go around it with maybe either some words and some, um, some foliage, you know, flowers and stuff like that. Some swirls. I don't know. But, you know doesn't have to be super fancy um, inside there because if you've got the right picture it just looks beautiful so I'm gonna go from the back and make sure that I am cutting this correctly but like I said I'm probably gonna hit this with some glue and glue this in personally because I really don't want it to be um, move in, in, removable I should say okay so let's see did I do that right yep yay okay so it doesn't take a ton of glue I was thinking if I 
with Brave, my glue stick. Glue sticks make things a little stickier. I think I'm actually going to use my Aline's glue because it will keep it looser for me for a few minutes while I press it down. Um, if I use my art glitter glue, it's going to dry too quick. And if I use my glue stick, I find that it's so sticky when I put it inside of things that I can't move them, you know? And so that's why I'm going with my Aline's. This glue doesn't dry quite as quickly and I can control it a little more. Now let's see if I'm, <laughs> if I'm right. This should be okay. See with the glue stick, if I tried to slip this in there or the art glitter, it would just, it would just end up being all over the place. Okay, we got a little bit up here. Oh, and I just noticed I've got a little tear, darn it. Okay. Now I like these as, I like to, most of the time, I like to glue these down and seal them. And then I glue them in as I decorate it. And then I glue them in as a pocket. Um, for the most part, that's how I do it. I know you can put little fun things in there to sh make it a shaker. Um, you know, you can do anything with them. But for right now, I'm going to focus on getting my backgrounds into my envelope. So, let's see here. Just, okay, just trim this a little bit doesn't need to, you don't want to do it a whole lot because you want it to be to where it goes all the way to the edge on the inside, you know. Let's see how I did. Let's see how I did. So as you can see, this is not rocket science. I'm not doing a difficult. Oh good, I got all three of them in the picture. Come on now. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Trying to get it out. All right. Okay. Just sneak that top part there. And like I said, if you wanted to make these removable, you could set these up so that they're like a journaling card. I'm just trying this. Um, but you do not have to. I am not going to. But it's option. It's an option. Okay. I thought what I would do with some of this, because some of my pictures are not quite big enough to take up the whole window that I wanted to use. And so what I was thinking was I could tear them down a little bit, kind of distress the edges, and then I want to put a backdrop of like the music paper or Tina's paper that I brought along, you know, and use that, <clears throat> like I said, as a backdrop. Okay. Hopefully you're not as awkward with it as I am. It is pretty early. I woke up at like 2.40 this morning and I decided to watch some Artists Academy. I, told, I think I told you guys about that. Um, I got a really good deal to join the Artist Academy. It's $1.49 a year. And I think right now I saw another ad. It was $2.99. So that's for the whole year. And you have full access as a premium member. And then they'll renew it automatically. But if you end it before the year is up, you don't pay anything but that $2.99. Well, I paid $1.49, but that was like two weeks ago. I don't know if they still have that deal. So there's that number two. And then this third one is these pretty deer. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and nip on both sides so I can kind of hopefully evenly distribute that picture in there. Yeah, so anyway, I got up this morning and was watching some Artist Academy first and then uh, decided, you know what, I'm going to do my Mass Monday video before Cordy wakes up. And that way later when I do another video, it can be, you know, like, well, I did do a haul video, I'll be honest. So that'll probably be Tuesdays. It's not a long, big haul. It was just a short little haul. But so I won't show you guys everything I got now because then that would be 
redundant <laughs> since I already did a separate video. All right. Did I turn that top right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So, it's pretty early right now. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. So, there was one thing I was going to talk to all of you about. Um, I was talking to Cordy about it, and I kind of prayed about it. And I, because I really want to have a little more energy, um, and I want a little more forethought to go into my videos I've been thinking that doing seven videos a week is getting a little, it's a little strenuous for me. My blood pressure's been up. I haven't been feeling very well. I'm not sleeping as good. There we go. I was up at 2.40 and, and I went to bed kind of late for me. Um, yeah, I just, I haven't been getting my rest like I should and I've kind of been stressful about, you know, what the videos should be about and it's just, I don't, I don't want to make myself sick. So, and I also want to, um, sorry about that loud noise. I was getting my wipe. I also want to start doing more digital work and I haven't had really the time or energy to do that. Um, gotta let that dry. I accidentally got it wet. There's that one. So I think I'm going to take my videos from seven days a week down to like four or five days a week. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm, I'm kind of leaning toward four because then I could do, I could upload on Monday or Mass Monday, Wednesday, and then like Friday and Saturday or Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday, you know, something like that. So I haven't determined exactly what days yet. But again, I'm kind of leaning towards Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays as the days I upload. Um, and then daily, I'll still be uploading our devotions. That would be uh, every day. So anyway, what do you all think about that? Um, I care about your opinion and I, I, I want to know, you know, are those days good for you guys? Would you rather have it, you know, be Mass Monday and then different days of the week? Um, yeah. I guess I could just do Monday through Thursday and then have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm definitely going to come, um, for, at least for, for a season, I'm going to back off of doing the seven days a week because um, for health. It, it, mostly also for time that I can have a little time to devote to um, my business and doing more digital creations because that is something that is really in my heart and I haven't been able to do that as much so yeah I just really I need this so I'm going to definitely back off of seven days a week for right now it's not doesn't mean I won't come back to it later on. It's our channel. We can do what we want, right? But you guys, I do want to know what days of the week do you think um, would be good? Because that I don't really care about. Other than Mass Monday, I want Monday to stay where it is. But the other three days, what do you guys think? I would love to hear from you, okay? Anyway, back to our project. So, um, let's see here. I brought, now I brought this paper because I have these beautiful pictures over here. And they're all kind of like, you guys have seen me, I've had them. And I, some of them are from my own kit. Um, I did some Monet and stuff. Um, yeah, and so they're just different pictures that I had, some big ones. Not that one, because it's, well, I could use it now that I'm doing the backdrop. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be using some of these. and. I thought that that would be fun. I've got four more envelopes left. So I thought I'd do two with the music. And then we can do, we could do um, two with Tina's background. And I say Tina's background, it's from her. Oh, I can't think of the name. There's somebody out there who knows it. Anyway, it's one of my favorite kits. and. Both sides of this paper are just beautiful. So I thought, oh, that'd be a fun way to use it because it's been sitting in my drawer. When I first printed it, I printed it on copy paper and ended up not using it because I reprinted it onto cardstock. 
Um, yeah, and so I haven't really, it's just been there. And I thought, what a fun way to use it as a back, background. So that's what I'm doing. So we went to our outing yesterday, and I tell you in the haul video a little bit about it, but I don't really go into detail. So we went to Hobby Lobby and um, had a nice time there. My honey, he's so thoughtful. <clears throat> went way, well, not way, but went over budget from what we he had said. You know, well, let's stay at this level, you know, and then, of course, I've, I'm like, okay, and two of the things, and I explain it in the other video, but two of the things I was like, oh, okay, I want to get both of these, but I don't need them both at the same time. So I told him, I'm just going to keep them in the cart because I want to think about which one I'd like to get first. And so they were the more expensive items. And so by the time we got just, I don't know, a few feet down the way, he's like, you're getting both of them today. And I go, no, 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 no. Cause they're, you know, they are expensive. And he's like, no, 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 you're, you're getting them both today. You need them, you're getting them. And this is our anniversary and don't worry about it, you know. And so, yeah, so he ended up getting them both for me, which you'll see them tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna post that video tomorrow for Tuesday. Okay, now don't get stuck. Don't make a liar. It's this music paper. It's very, it, it's not very thin for old paper, but it's antique. It's over 100 years. So, yeah, a little less cooperative. There we go. Got it. All right. <clears throat> now. Oh, good. Isn't that pretty in there? I love it. It's so cute. I'm going to do a second one of that. I should have just cut my paper with the other paper, huh? I was yammering, yammering, and I didn't think about it. So yeah, so we went to Hobby Lobby. It was so funny. We got there and the lines were horrible. It was almost like um, after Christmas returns, you know, but I mean like every line and it turned out, I guess they were training some new people and they were short a bunch of people. And so, um, yeah, there was this one man there. Cordy, Cordy said, did you hear that guy yelling? And I go, no, I didn't hear him. I was in the other side of the store. I guess there was some man at the front of the store bawling out the manager because there were folks standing around that weren't doing anything and he was waiting in line and he was like, I'm a manager myself. Why aren't these people working? They're standing over here doing nothing. And the manager said, they're brand new. They haven't been trained yet. You know, it's like, okay, seriously, you're a manager and you're going to put another manager on the spot. That's not cool. So when we got up there, sure enough, the lines were just horrendous. And the little girl who was running our register, um, a very sweet girl, and she's talking and she's doing her thing, you know. And I'm standing there, and, and I was kind of putting the bags in the cart. And then I looked up, and she had rung up something that is one of their yellow tags that is like, this is the original price. This is the, you know, this is the price you'll pay. Well, <clears throat> she rung it up at the, the real price the top price on the tag. And I was like, and that's uh, actually $14.99. It's not 30 or $29.99. Yeah. And she goes, Oh, I'm so sorry. And that's the only one I missed. I, I, you know, so I start looking and I go, I look through the bag and I pulled out a paper pad I had gotten that I knew was 40% off. And I go, did you get this? It's 40% off. And she goes, Oh no, I didn't get that. Oh no. And then I go, did you get this? It turned out she hadn't gotten any of my sale prices. And she, of course, is like, oh, you know, it's so confusing up here at the red. You know how you feel. You're put on the spot. You're embarrassed. I felt bad for her. And I was like, yeah, I know. I do the same thing. And and then she goes, actually, I don't really work the register <laughs> very often. I'm I'm more in the in the store, you know, stocking and stuff. And so yeah, she goes, I I'm so sorry. I would have paid full price for everything in my cart. And it's funny because about three quarters of what was in my cart was half price. So I was so glad. So pay attention at the register, you guys. I'm sure you do. You know, us women we do, but anyway, pay attention just in case at Hobby Lobby, because you never know if somebody's gonna do the wrong the wrong thing. <laughs> totally not meaning to. I mean, she was a little sweetheart, but I told Cordy, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I was watching. He goes, yeah, me too. <laughs> and he's a, you know, he's a, he's a price uh, watcher. He, he definitely is 
a very wise man when it comes to money and uh, how to save it. You know, when you've when you've gone without in your life, you know what I mean. You you tend to be very good at watching and taking care and being more careful with your funds. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. I got that. I wanted those flowers in the background. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so if you guys have Tina's kit, I'm just going to fold this over and use that and tear it. Okay, I better fold it over a little bit. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, yeah, so then we we did that and had a great, you know, time there. And then, um, well, I had a great time. My honey, he's just ever the patient one and... He's just like, I'm here with you. That's all that matters to me. I'm good, you know. Um, so then we took off and we drove to Phoenix and uh, stopped over at Walmart. So if I responded to any of your messages yesterday during, I was sitting in the car while Cordy ran into Walmart and got some cola cough drops because he was feeling a little scratchy. And um, yeah, so if I responded to your messages at all yesterday, in that in that like mid morning time, that was why because I was in the car waiting and I was like, oh, I can respond to my messages. Um, and Sagita, yeah, I what I told you in the message about your picture on the journal, that journal was beautiful, and you were saying you couldn't see the picture, and I could see two like you had entered it twice on my end, and then this morning when I commented back to you, it was totally gone. I don't know what happened. That was so weird. Um, yeah. So anyway, sorry for that side note, you guys. It was just me and Sagita were talking about it, and I was thinking about it right now. But it was just really bizarre because it was there yesterday, and then it was just gone. So I don't know what in the world happened, but yeah, it disappeared. It was a Facebook entry. She had uh, listed her beautiful purple journal that she did. You should post that just as a pick for everybody, Sagita, because because <clears throat> it was really pretty. Vibrant and just, I love, I love purple. So I love color. I didn't used to like some colors as much as I do now, but I do love color. So there's that one. And I'm on my last one. And then I'm going to choose my pictures. So this one, I want to make sure I get this frame and then I'm going to try to maybe even do, with these, I might try to do like a um, paper doll. I don't know. I hadn't thought about it, but that would be cute, right? So, yeah. And anyway, so then after Walmart, we went over to Turf Paradise. Now, we did, I, I never, ever, ever, ever gamble, okay? I do not gamble on the whole. Um, it's just, I just don't. But yesterday I did play a few races for $2 a piece and I won two races. So we won back everything that we spent and, and <laughs> praise the Lord. And then on our way back through um, Phoenix to come back over to Gilbert, we ran across um, a sweet girl who was on the side of the road homeless and I was able to give my winnings to her. So that was awesome because I got to buy her dinner, you know, at least. And I know it wasn't, you know, it wasn't too much, but it was a lot. I'm sure because I've been homeless, it was a lot to her. And and that's what matters. You know, I'm going to do what I did before. So God is so good. I mean, seriously, the Lord is just amazing. He, he blessed us and allowed us to be a blessing to someone else, you know. Which, yeah, that's that's what it's about, right? It is. That's what it's about. So, yep. So then we, we went there, and it was so funny. The first, what, was the second race, I think? And the horses. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That was really the biggest attraction for me. The horses. I love to watch horses run, and I haven't seen uh, any in such a long time. You know, growing up on the farm and everything, I... I grew up around horses, and I didn't ride a whole lot as a kid, to be honest, because my mom and my grandma were always really paranoid and worried and stuff. So I rode, but not as much as you'd think. Um, so, yeah, but I developed 
a relationship with a lot of our horses like they were my pets you know I mean they were my friends I'd go out and hang out with them in the fields and you know and go out and feed them and talk to them and love on them and everything and so I just I grew up with horses you know around me all the time and um I wish my family hadn't, my grandma and my mom hadn't been, and it's weird, my mother was a horsewoman too, but she wouldn't let me ride that much. And by the time I got older, you know, she should have had me on a horse when I was a kid. And I think my grandma's fear, you know, of constantly being like, oh, don't let her get up there, you know, <laughs> oh, she might get hurt, you know, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think my grandma's fear kind of stopped my mom from allowing me to. So that's kind of a, a regret for me. But, um, anyways, so I got to see these amazing racehorses. They were so beautiful. And, uh, we, we stayed for five races. So I got to see like over, let's see, the first race had 10 horses. The second race had nine. The third race had like seven, you know, so I got to see probably over 30 beautiful, 40 beautiful horses yesterday. It was just amazing. And I was so grateful that I got to go. Um, so, yeah, it was a great, great day. Um, and my honey, he got... Oh, this paper is not working. Shoot, shoot. My glue is drying on me too fast. Come on, baby, get in there. <coughs> Don't do this to me. I want it to work. This is such a pretty one. Um, and like I, I was saying in the other video, my husband used to go there as a teenager with his friends. Oh, good, it went... And he got to relive his youth, you know, because he used to love to go to Turf Paradise when he was a teenager. And then, you know, and him and his buddy Danny would run around and get food. And you know what I mean, how teenagers are. They weren't really into the racing. They just loved being there, you know. And so that was kind of a fun memory for him to, to relive. And, yeah, and so <clears throat> after that, I'm so sorry, you guys. Let me get a drink. After that, it was pretty funny. We went over, and I said, oh, you know, let's go eat, because we hadn't eaten all day. We were starving, okay? And, oh, I was going to show you guys. This is one I did the other day with our faux rice paper, the one of my napkins. And I just did some stamping, and then today I wanted to brush over it with some Distress Ink, some brown Distress to kind of match it up a little bit. But that's kind of what I'm talking about. And you can just do some stamping around your edges and decorate the outside. And then you can glue a few little things here and there, and you've got an adorable pocket. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's pick. Um, and let me grab, real quick, let me grab my, my people. Where are my people? And I had, it's kind of funny, I had, oh, these are pretty too. I had more people in my cart. I ended up not getting them simply because, I wonder if she's look good here. Simply because I thought, you know what, I can get them later. You know what I mean? She looks kind of cool. I had fussy cut her for something else and it didn't work out. But yeah, so we then went to um, get some Vietnamese food. My husband is like, of course, honey, yeah, we'll go wherever you want. Well, he's never had Vietnamese food, and so I love, love it, love it, love it. Well, we get to the place, and we're looking at the menu, and it's, they've actually gone really, gotten really expensive. Oh, this one might be pretty. Her, just her. Um, they've actually gotten super expensive. And so I was like, okay, um, I don't remember them being quite this high, but uh, that was fine. You know, he was like, honey, that doesn't matter. Just get whatever you want. But then he, he was looking at the menu and because he's never eaten there, um, he I know him and he was like, oh, you know, I, I don't really recognize like anything. I think I'm going to put her in here. He said, I don't really recognize anything on the menu. <laughs> so I'm just going to get that sandwich. And I told him, I go, you know what? Let's just go. Because this, I just, I, I'm worried you're not going to enjoy the food here. And I don't want to spend money on food that you might not even like. And so he's like, what? Are you sure? And I said, yeah, I would rather just go somewhere else that we know, you know, will work for us. And so we ended up again 
at, <laughs> you guys are going to, those of you who have been with me a while are going to laugh. We ended up again at Golden Corral. <laughs> we drove all the way over to Mesa. We were in North Phoenix, okay? So we were like 40 some miles away from where we ended up. But we got there and we had, and we get in there and the Lord blessed us. It was so funny. We get in there and there is the hugest line because you know, all the Golden Corrals are closing down. And they had closed um, all of them. They've closed all of them here, but three. I think throughout the state. Or maybe four. There might be one in Prescott as well. <clears throat> and so we get in there. And uh, I'm going to put her there on that. I think. Or would she be better over here? How does she look right there? I look kind of stupid. I'm thinking I don't look good. I don't know. What do you guys think? She looks adorable, but I don't know if she looks good in here. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got this stupid frog in my throat. Anyways, so we we get all the way across town and we get in there and they're super busy and the line is so long, my gosh, you guys. It was almost out of the building. And I go, wow, you know, but we'd driven that far, so we were going there, you know. And <laughs> this lady who works there comes up, and she says, is anyone here using cash? I can ring you up on this register over here if you're using cash. I was thinking she would look really pretty sitting on these flowers. If I can get her arranged right to where she looks like she's almost leaning on these petals. I think I like her right there. So, yeah, so this lady comes and says, you know, I can ring you up over here if you have cash. We ended up getting to go into ahead of the line by like over 25 people. And we were one of two, two groups of people that um, actually had cash. And so she let us go in and we got seated right away. I mean, talk about favor. Uh, I'm serious. I was just, I looked at Cordy. I go, wow, that is the favor of the Lord. Cause we were going to be standing there for probably, I don't know, 30 minutes waiting in that line and just to get cash, you know, checked in to, because there was no tables. I mean, we did have to stand for a few minutes and wait on a table because there was just no tables because there were so many people. And yeah, so we ended up getting to go right in and wait for our table. And it was such a blessing. I mean, yeah. And also the other reason was because um, Tippy, oh, my glue is so, so stuck. I haven't worked on anything in two days. Tippy was at home, you know, without potty. You know, she, and she's such a good girl. She can really hold it, honestly. That she will not go potty in the house unless she is desperate. And so, um, yeah, we, we were able to get in, eat our dinner and get home in a reasonable time for her, which was a real blessing because I was like, oh my gosh, if we wait this long, and Cordy even asked me in the line, do you just want to go home and eat? And I was like, no, we, we came all this way, you know, and I'm sure she'll be fine because I know Tipper. She's, oh good. It landed right where I wanted it. I wanted her to look like she's kind of leaning on those leaves or those petals now see she looks cute i like her in there um and yeah and so that's where we went and then after that we got home and tippy was good and she was happy and, and the kitties were happy and yeah so that was our day and we had a lot of fun i think i'm gonna um distress this in some i'm hoping i don't know will this go or should i use Maybe I should use some sponge sugar. That looks a little bit off, huh? I don't want to use the wrong color. I was just going to try something really quick and see. Um, yep, so that was our day. Anyway, so we had a really great time. Thank you so much to all of you who wished us well and, uh, you know, prayed for our, our safe trip. I know I've got those of you out there who pray for me, and I'm so grateful to you. Uh, and so, yeah, thank you for that.
just thought this might look kind of pretty and I even was thinking that maybe a little touch of the um, the grape on here would look good. I know, I'm jumping ahead. I should have went back in and glued in other pictures, but I just wanted to see. I looked at it and was like, oh, that might look really good. Now if I can find my grape Concord, I have it here. I had it. Ah, yeah, dusty Concord, that's it. I kind of thought this might look good because of the, the lavender. So, yeah, let's see. If I'm right, I hope I'm right. Now see, between the spun and the dusty, I think that's bringing that more into that color. What do you guys think? I think it is. I'm your camera, right? I hope. I wanted to, to start distressing more, um, more often with some color and not always with just, you know, brown vintage photo and stuff. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I've been using some black lately, and that's a lot of fun. And you know, and I was thinking, to, yeah, I really like that. That looks nice, huh? You guys like that? I'm gonna move these so that shiny light is not in your eyes. Yeah, I think that's really cute. I of course just dropped my dauber. There, I got it. So I might keep those out just to use them on the other one too, because I really think that's pretty. Okay, now, I'm going to pick for um, the music I think I'm going to use from these. But, oh, here's a smaller version of the ones I used. Let's see. So that was a kit that was just beautiful. But, yeah. See what I mean? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm looking here. They're cute. Little lovers. There are some really pretty oil paintings in the world or watercolors in the world, aren't they? These are all, of course, famous artwork, you know, from Monet and all the different artists out there. I don't know all their names, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to pretend that I do. She's pretty. Oh, so is she. They're all pretty. Who, who am I kidding? Oh, look at that. Just beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to decide. It is. There's there's so many. Oh, isn't that cool over Paris? That looks very cool. I wonder if that was painted from real happening, like something that was happening at that time. I wouldn't doubt it. These are all doubled. I must, a bunch of them are doubled. I must have printed them out twice and didn't know it. Okay, so these are all buildings and stuff and city backdrops. Okay, so I think I'll use these two. Okay, and I am going to do some tearing around these edges. I don't want to tear their hands out of the picture if possible. Or tear their hair off as much as possible. I'm going to save it. Okay. There. Got that pretty round. And then I'll start her over here. It's a safe spot. trying to decide as I'm doing this which one I want to use as my ending to decorate, you know, because these are going to be really... <clears throat> now this actually... Eh, I'm going to do the, the Concord and stuff over on that. I'm going to go ahead and do these in the darker. And I'm also, this year, I kind of want to try and allow things to, um, 
be vibrant and not dull things out as much as I usually do. Um, so we'll see because I don't know. This is a good example right now. What I've, I'm thinking of leaving without kind of skipping over this picture and bringing, you know, this down, toning this down a little bit, but letting it be uh, the bright color. So we'll see how it looks because this backdrop is is coffee dyed as well. And then the paper is also darker. It makes me think I need to kind of tone it down. But at the same time, it's beautiful. And yeah, I think it's just for me, I think it's a um, it's what my eyes are used to seeing. And so I think that's why I struggle when I go to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to change that and let myself be open to more um, options and not just always do the same thing. You guys know what I mean, right? Okay. I think these are really pretty in there. I hope I can do justice to the decorating of the, I mean, you don't have a ton of room to decorate these, but uh, I've seen some people do some mighty pretty things. I've, I've done a few really cute ones, but they're in past journals. I don't, that have already sold. I don't really have them here to show them to you, but. Okay. So there's those two. Then there's these guys more nature themed and then there's her and now I need to pick one more for this and I am going to probably choose another paper doll I really should have bought those yesterday to be honest because my choices are becoming very limited here um, <clears throat> oh those are cute Look, little flapper girls ah, I think I'll put those in there those are cute and they're already dinged up. I've already done them and then didn't use them in something. So, yeah. That's pretty cute. I think those will look good. They remind me of my grandma. She was born in that era, and she would do the black bottom. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen those dances, but they were so cute. And she was like a little kind of a flapper in her own right. So I'm gonna stand them just off to the side. They're kind of on that line. I'm gonna push them down just a little bit. Her shoe is kind of right there on that line, so. Oops, we need to wipe that glue up. Yeah, I started to, but you know what? Tim Holtz's stuff was not on sale yesterday either, and that's the other thing. I don't like paying full price for that. Mm, you know, even though, I mean, Hobby Lobby has changed their sales. You guys have probably noticed they're not 50% off as much now as they were. They're more 40% off on things, which I understand. They did not raise their prices. They just lowered their sale amount. Which, you know, I mean, they're trying to, you know, that's how they make a money. That's how they make, earn living. And, and you know what I mean. I really don't begrudge that too much. I, I, had, I have issue with Walmart simply because I feel like they've taken advantage of it. And they've raised the prices exorbitantly on some things that, you know. Now, I was going to try the, the Dusty Concord by itself on this one and see if it looks how it looks. It actually looks about the same. You can't really, I guess you're not really seeing that sponge sugar too much on the other one. But this matches the color of these leaves and flowers perfectly. Okay. Now, one thing I was gonna say um, on stamping on these envelopes, I am going to be using probably my uh, archival, my black archival ink. But if you are using a regular ink, like a permanent ink, 
um, archival will not, it's still, you can still wipe it off of the plastic. So if you're wanting like anything to go onto the plastic, you're going to have to use, um, oh, what's it called? The other one. Oh, I can't think of the name. The permanent. Oh my goodness. I have some here. Wait. I just can't think of the brand name. Stays on. You're going to need to use stays on. Stays on will dry onto this plastic and stay. Okay. Where um, archival will not. It'll still wipe off. Just a little heads up in case you care about that. I don't really care about that. I'm going to wipe it away from the black so it's not going to matter to me. Okay. So where are we at? 45 minutes. All right. So I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them. We have the girls. We have this beautiful lady. We have these lovely nature scenes with family and then the deer. And then we have the, the beautiful portraits. Okay. So I think I'm going to decorate. Um, gosh. I brought these words along, these stamp words, and I was wondering, they're just all various words that you can like create a sentence or whatever with, you know? And I'm thinking um, what I could write on there, if I could write anything. Let's see. Always beautiful. <laughs> hmm. Does it say in? I was going to say I could put everything in my heart. Yeah, I have an in across the bottom or something. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to seal this shut. Do I want to seal it shut or do I want actually? I was thinking I could put something, a word, a phrase, or something inside. If I can find my bag, I could put something on that part too. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. And it matches. Look at that. All I have to do is, I think I'll tear it down around the edges. I love that look. So it's not so uniform, you know. I wonder if I kept, I made these, these words like this, and I'm thinking, did I keep them when I transferred everything over to my new computer? Because I should list these on, in the Etsy because they're pretty cute. Oh, and of course, you know what I just thought of before and after I've already done the glue, but I've done that before. I can still make it work. Oh no, this is the one that's dead. Ah, let me get the other one. Okay. I still have it because it's still got some in it, but the thingy is so low that now it's falling out. You know how glue sticks do? Or, you know what I mean? Even chapsticks, how they'll fall out once you're too far up. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, there we go. I wanted to put a little touch of gold. I'm going to try and get this in here. You know what? I'm going to use one of my little palette knives there. There we go. No, don't, ah, don't go on to her. Come on now, baby. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. And what else? See what I mean? Look, it's in, it's in the lid. I guess I should let it go, right, guys? I'm going to throw it away. <laughs> I'm like, get out of there. I want the last little bit. Oh, that's too funny. Um, You know what I'm looking at? I've, I've got some new... I don't want to show you guys because it's in the video tomorrow, but I bought some washi tape. I know I had so much, but I couldn't resist this kit. It Oh, it's just so pretty. And I'm looking right here at one of them, thinking that it would look really nice as a, as a backdrop on here. I'm not going to show you guys the whole package because you get to see it tomorrow. <laughs> okay, 
I don't want to ruin the surprise, but here's one of them. Believe. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's so pretty. Look at that. So the flowers are almost the same. And I was looking at it and thinking, oh, that would look gorgeous right there. Okay, so let's see. What else did I want to do? Um, oh, stamping. That was it. All right. I'm going to grab this little piece of paper that we were painting on a while ago and just use that as my base so I don't stamp all over the place. And I brought along a few things that I thought would look pretty or that I could choose from. I was trying to be prepared. So <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I tend to be like, oh, I'll be right back. Let me go grab this or let me go grab that, you know. Trying not to do that. Let's see here. These have these are my scripture ones, and they have all these flowers and stuff on them. I, the scriptures don't really fit, or I would use one, but um, yeah, they wouldn't fit. I mean, maybe this one would. Just a tiny. Yeah, I could probably fit one of those on there somewhere. Not on this one, but on one of them that I'm doing. And then maybe this one. Yeah, they're just so big though that you can't really fit them on these little tiny spots. Okay, so I was thinking that this would look pretty. Okay, so I'm going to, where's my block? I try to be prepared, you guys, but you know me. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. Okay. And I have put I don't know where I've put... Oh, here it is. I was like, where is my block? I had something else on it. Okay. So, I wonder if I should use the black or should I use that purple? Um, the oxide, you know, to make this swirly on the sides. I'm going for it with the purple. Okay. And I think I'm going to do it that opposite on this side. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Yeah. And then I was looking at this rose, but I don't, uh, it's a little big. I think it's a little big. Too long. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Well, let me see. I have some smaller flowers here. Kind of weird looking, actually. Well, I guess it's kind of pretty. So, and then I'm gonna do this in black. Will that be too sharp? Do you think? Ugh, I'm torn. I don't want to put it on there and have it be like, oh no, it ruined it. You know. How about if I sit it, stamp it to the side? That's actually really pretty, huh? Well, let me try this one and see. I'm seeing which one I want. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Okay. Kids. I'm going to do one up here, and then I'm going to do one down in this corner, making sure I don't have a bunch of ink all over the place. 
Oh, yay. They stamped right. Okay. You know what I was thinking? Hmm. Oh, that'd be pretty to paint that, huh? Don't you think? Just lightly with maybe some very light watercolor. And it's another thing from my from my uh, video that I don't want to ruin for you guys, but I kind of want to use it. Let me see. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, you guys, just because I really think it would be pretty if I can do it right. We'll see. I'm not showing you the whole thing. I'm not going to show you the kit because it'll, it'll ruin it. <laughs> Yes, I ended up getting uh, some watercolors that I've really, really, really wanted. Um, I'm making sure. Let me make sure I've got the right color here that I want to use for that. I'm going to use this one here for the... Okay. I'm going to try to do this without messing it up. They're a metallic watercolor. And I just, I thought that it would look pretty nice with that on there. Don't be shaky. Don't be shaky, Tara. Hmm. Oh, well. It's all right. I'm just barely adding some water to this. Make sure it's not okay. I just want the pigment, you know. Okay, there's the green. That one. I believe it or not, have never painted my stamps, which is kind of. Well, it's kind of funny to me just because I see so many people do it and I'm like, I've never even done that. I've worked at stamping them in different colors, you know, but this is kind of fun. I don't know. I just thought it would add a little subtle something special to the mix. And then I'm going to use... For the other part, I'm going to use this beautiful pink. Well, I could use the lavender. There's, I've got both here, but I'm going to spray it right on the paint. That way, I don't have to keep messing with it. Okay. Was my air freshener. Do you hear it? You hear how quiet it is in here? This is how I usually craft. Very, for the most part, it's a very quiet experience for me. Um, I was watching a lady yesterday, and I cannot for the life of me think of her name, but I really enjoyed her. And she was from Sweden, and she was very, I don't know, she was, she was, talking to the audience but at the same time she was very quiet and she just crafted um you might see me do that more often I know you guys are so wonderful and you always tell me you love my stories and I make you laugh and or make you cry <laughs> and I'm glad but there's 
something to be said for just watching somebody do something just quietly, you know? And I liked it because it's, it's how I craft. I, I craft very quietly usually. I talk for your benefit because you're with me. And if you were in my home with me, I would be chit-chatting your ear off because that's what I do. Um, I love these paints. They are very pigmented and very metallic and pearlescent, and I love that. Okay, so there's that. Let's see if you guys can see good. I hope you were able to see me doing that. So there's the flowers. I really like this. It's pretty. I'm thinking I could even do like the lavender um, paint onto the swirls. But I'm going to stop with the painting on that part. And I'm looking here real quick. The time we're, we're at our hour. <clears throat> the only other thing I was thinking was to put I had to pull that plastic off. I was thinking to put a phrase here and I wanted to do it on this small <clears throat> this small block so I could line it up. In is her here? I was wondering. Let's see. Mm, I don't see it. No. Okay. It's hard to get these even. I said put that on the wrong side. I don't do this very often, this whole lining up and being, you know, exact and stuff. Okay, I'm going to do these two first. And since I used this smaller in my And then I have a period here, so I'm going to do a little ellipses at the end. There, there we go. So in my heart. Beautiful. I hope you like it. And then I'm going to be gluing this down. I'll probably also be doing this. Um, so I'm going to do it right now because I, you know me, my goal. And I was even thinking it would look really pretty if we did put this down here. Make sure it stays shut. Because I'll be gluing this in as a pocket. Okay. And then I was thinking. Another thing I'm wondering. I'm hoping it doesn't ruin it. But I think it'll look good. Is I'm going to. Do, I'm going to do my edges. Because. Oh my goodness. I love that. My paint's a little wet. So it's causing my, my pencil not to want to write.
I'll do it down here. It's easier. I really think the black makes, framing it in the black just makes it pop. And I know I could have done it with the, the, uh, the ink, but I love the effect of the pencil more. So, okay. And now, I'm just dipping my finger in some water here to my right. I'm running it just very lightly around that edge. Okay. All right, there it is. Now it's done. <laughs> and I hope you like it and that you enjoyed today's video or today's mask make. And if you make some, let me see them. Put them on our Facebook group. I love you guys so much. Thank you very much for being with me today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? God bless. Bye.